سلاو تان لبیت جنابی پروفیسور خوشحالم که لبرنامه کم باش داریه کن دمی سرتا لولی تان پرسیم لیم روشان در سیمینار اکتان لانستوتوی کردی لواشنطن انجام داوا لو برویدان که کرد یستر لهمو کات زیاتر پرتوازن او پرتوازه یا چه مترسیه چی لسر آینده کرد هیا؟ Well, I don't think the Kurds are necessarily more divided than ever. I think what I said is that the Kurds remain divided, and it's an important uh, problem for why the Kurds are having uh, problems, that th th these divisions continue. But I don't think that the Kurds are more divided than ever. Uh, they are just Divided, yes. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, the great president of the United States during our civil war, uh, Lincoln said a house divided will not stand. Either the Kurds are going to work together or they're going to hang separately. نتوانی بونی این نتخوار رو با برای او کرد اگر هر آوا پر توازه بید و کن نتوانیک دتواند بگذب مافکانی خوی. If I understand you correctly, you're asking me about will Kurdish divisions hurt the Kurds? And yes, it will hurt the Kurds. As a matter of fact, as you know, your enemies. The surrounding countries like Turkey and uh, Iran and even Baghdad have always uh, used divide and rule strategies against the Kurds and uh, play on your divisions. So these divisions offer opportunities for your enemies to uh, hurt you and keep you from reaching your uh, legitimate goals. Basha. در بشبونی بردوامی کرد هکارکی چیه؟ آیا کلونیال بونی کرد؟ یا نبونی روانگی کی نیستیمانیه لای حزب کردستانی کن؟ Well, all that has a role, but ultimately the divisions among the Kurds are geographical divisions from your ancient history where there there never was a united Kurdistan. There were Kurdish emirates, uh, proto-Kurdish states, but the geographical divisions uh, kept uh, uh, a united Kurdistan from uh, ever existing. And of course, the very concept of a, uh, a nation state is a relatively new concept, even for uh, Europeans. French Revolution, 1789, basically. Mm -hmm. So the Kurdish divisions largely uh, stem from geographical divisions, tribal divisions, religious divisions, ideological divisions. And uh, yes, of course, colonialism played a role here. The division uh, among the British and the French. Uh, and so there are a variety of reasons for these divisions. And certainly in the last hundred years, the Kurdish nation is divided, as you know, among four states, uh, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, and Syria. So that's what I say about that. I would like to say that the Kurds are not going to be able to do it. But the Kurds are not going to be able to do it. تاچن مترسیه بوسر که آنکه ای بته بدی بوسر قواری ایندی قواری هریمی کردستان. Well, as I said, if you don't find a modicum, a certain amount of unity, your enemies are going to use divide and rule tactics against you, as happened after your advisory referendum on September 15th. 2017, where Kurdish divisions, as I understand it, uh, allowed uh, the PMFs to just easily take over Kirkuk, uh, which was a great uh, shame and tragedy for the Kurds. Fortunately, you were able to stabilize yourself because I'll tell you for uh, a few weeks there in October 2017, I was afraid the whole Kurdish KRG project was uh, over. But you have stabilized yourself again and uh, we're, we're back to where we were before, a strong KRG, which uh, 
needs to uh, cooperate with Baghdad, but also well, stand up to Baghdad for its rights. And uh, this will take good statesmanship on the part of your leaders, gosh. which I think you have. Madam Dalai Rwangeji, how was <laughs> Neil Nyan Kurt Hoida? Kurt Chon, the Tony Rwangeji, how was Druska, cheap Kabuik, and Rwanga, how was she well, when we talk about the Kurds, are you talking about just the KRG, Iraqi Kurds, or pan-Kurdish, the Kurds in other countries like Turkey and Iran? In Bashuri Kurdistan, we are in the same Kurdistan, and we are in the same way Kurd Bagishti, in the same way. Well, in the KRG, as you know, you've made enormous strides in recent years uh, following the demise of Saddam Hussein. So uh, the KRG is well on its way to uh, being a, uh, well, it is. The KRG is, in effect, a uh, de facto state, which is uh, in a federal unity with Iraq itself. So the KRG has made enormous steps towards uh, uh, be, becoming a nation, a, uh, a, and even a proto-state, and your job is to uh, continue this unity. Now, in right. terms of pan-Kurdish unity, as you know, it would take the collapse of the entire state system, namely the collapse of Turkey and Iran, and that is not going to happen. So, uh, an overall Kurdish uh, nation is, is not uh, a viable concept today. Nevertheless, uh, there's no reason uh, why there cannot be some type of cooperation and sense of unity there. But the main thing we're talking about is Iraqi Kurdish concepts of uh, Kurdish nationhood. Basha, I'm a Gurtuya Lelan Kiohe, Mabasad La Wolata Kanaka Kurdi Basarada Bashwa, Yan La Wolatani Dur, Woku, Europa, America, I'm a Gurtuya Hail, Sarawaka Kurt, Nebeta Dolat. Well, the, the, the ultimate problem is that uh, the states in which the Kurds live, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, and Syria, do not want to see their own division by allowing the Kurds to become independent. So uh, when independence came after World War I to these other states in the Middle East, the Kurds were simply not having a concept of nationhood that was strong enough to win their own state in uh, after World War I. And instead we had a uh, four states, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, and Syria, created. And that's the reality of the concept. Because of unique historical circumstances, uh, northern Iraq is a semi-autonomous state today, and that is a tremendous uh, gain for the Kurds. And if Iraq collapses, Iraqi Kurdistan stands to become independent. But uh, you must be seen as trying to cooperate with Iraq, and uh, cooperating with Iraq means you cooperate with Baghdad, you are loyal Iraqi citizens, but you also stand up for your rights under the Constitution of 2015. Uh, excuse me, uh, 2005 is the Iraqi well, is Constitution. Okay? And uh, you must... <laughs> so... Uh, that, that would start with what I want to say. You know the old adage that the Kurds have no friends but the mountains. There is no one else on earth who really wants Kurdish independence, except, as you know, Israel uh, supported the uh, referendum in 2017. But uh, Israel is, is not the favored country in the Middle East. So you have to realize that nobody wants to support Kurdish independence because it would set a bad precedent for the 
continue in the existence of every other state. On the other hand, the United States is probably your best friend, uh, but not your complete friend. The United States does not want Kurdish independence. It wants a federal Kurdish state in a united Iraq. That is what the United mm. States is trying to achieve. And this means a great deal of Kurdish oh. rights as a uh, semi-autonomous people. So your job is to realize that the United States is not going to support your independence, but the United States will support you uh, according to the 2005 Iraqi constitution. Russia. Uh Berdam do do was from Lanel Kurdhan, Eke can pay where the bed, Dolati Kurdi, Lesser Asti, Hamu Parchakani Kurdustan, Dab Mazri, Dolati Gauri Kurdustan Be, and the Kishpian Waka Dolat Agarla Sharik, young Gundekish Be, the Birab Gendret, Babra Ewa, Frau and Buni Zevi, Esta, Lemster de Maestaya, Yani Hokarabu Awaka Balate, the bed Dolata Kaman Son Be. As I said, a pan-Kurdish state in all four countries is impossible under today's circumstances. Uh, and on the other extreme, a, a village, an independent village of the Kurds would be too small. But you have the perfect situation right now for the Kurds. The KRG is big enough to uh, be a semi-autonomous federal unit in Iraq. And if Iraq becomes a failed state and collapses, you are in an excellent position to then become independent. But you should not be looking uh, look at the same thing. I am a member of the government. I am a member of the government. Well, it already is the foundation of a Kurdish state, but only in northern Iraq. I would not say for an overall Kurdish state. Uh, that is. Uh, that's a bridge too far at this point. Georgia, I can't get a link. Kurdistan, Mula M. Kurdistan, Syria, the KRG is in a much better situation. The KRG has a guaranteed legal existence. Rojava is at the mercy of continuing developments in Syria, which, as you know, uh, do not look good. Uh, uh, so I certainly uh, think the KRG is in much better shape than Rojava. باشه باسی هم گشپرسه که 2007 کرد دم بیت بوسونت بزنم لبایی گشپرسه که ول دوای تیپربونی آوان زیکی سه سال بسر انجام دانید. استا چون لی دروانید. Well, obviously, as it turned out, the referendum was a a big mistake at the time because it almost led to the destruction of the KRG. Now. Legally, there was no legal reason not to have the referendum. You had a legal right to have it, but it turned out politically it was probably not the, the correct thing to do. Uh, nevertheless, uh, you were able to stabilize the situation, and the referendum did show that the vast majority of Kurdistanis, who live, the people who live in northern Iraq, KRG area, do want independence eventually. And the rest of the world and Iraq is on notice of that. So uh, let's no longer argue about independence at this point. Everybody knows what your long-term ambition is. But right now, uh, your job is to maintain your semi-autonomy within Iraq. Basha. ایو شارزای میجوی کردن زور جار دولت داعیر کارکانی کردستان لبارو دو خیلی دار لگال کرد باولین هاورابون و مافیان پیدا و بالام دوتر که هندکی بسرار رویشتو و پشمان بوده تو به تعبتی برود وای که است دولت ایران لو استاتوی نوتویکو دو هزار و سی کردی 
پشیمان بوده تا و یان بیهیت دو خکب گرید. You have your best situation you have ever had in modern times, certainly since World War I. You have the 2005 Iraqi Constitution that guarantees your existence. Now, the Constitution is rather uh, vague in some crucial positions, and it's up to interpretation. So your job now is to uh, be transparent, honest, uh, free of corruption, uh, and legally use the Iraqi constitution intelligently to maintain your position as a semi-autonomous unit in Iraq. If you do that, I think Baghdad will continue to accept you. If you prove to be too stupid and too weak and too divided, yes, Baghdad will pick you to pieces and reduce you into nothing. But you have an excellent position right now, and you should continue to use the Iraqi constitution of 2005 okay. to maintain your existence and to argue for your legitimate constitutional rights. باشه کاوته با پی توجیه کنی برزت و پروفسوری که شارزال ل مجوی کرد است هیچ مترسیه که لسر هواشان وی قواری هرمی کردستان هیا و مترسیه که چیه؟ Well, as I was trying to say, uh, your main threat is that you will be too weak, too divided, and not intelligent enough. to maintain your constitutional rights when you deal with Baghdad. Right now, I think the main problem is uh, oil and uh, the budget. And uh, you have to realize that Baghdad is having budgetary problems too. The current collapse in the oil market means that you cannot possibly get everything in the way of oil money from Baghdad that you want. Uh, but you certainly ought to be able to get uh, a legitimate amount of that. So it's up to you and your negotiations with Baghdad to come to a fair, transparent uh, compromise that uh, will be fair to both Iraq, the Arabs in Iraq, and to the Kurds in the north. And you ought to work together and not try to somehow uh, cheat e each other and uh, I think there is respect there. I think if you that prove the to be too stupid and too weak and too divided, yes, Baghdad will pick you up. Basha, Balami Chaglou Harashani, Kala Hawashanlo, Yang Buhawashani, Kawari, Harimi Kurusan, Makari, and Redrada Skirdini, Nout, Yang Dahati, Serjam Nouti, Harimi Kurusanu, Dahati Nauho, Bablin, Darwaza, Snuriakana. Esa Agar Janabit. رایشت پی بکری لعنت کرد و لهرمی کردوسان. با برای او و باشه که هرمی کردوسان ده تا کانی را دستی بخدا بکاب تا وقتی. No, you you have your constitution, articles 110, 111, and 112 give you, especially in second paragraph of article 12, article 112, second paragraph. can be interpreted that all new oil fields, which means since 2005, largely fall under the control of the KRG, these new oil fields within the Kurdish region. And so you have mm -hmm. some constitutional basis to argue for holding on to a certain amount of the oil resources, and you should do that. You have a constitutional right to do that. On the other hand, do not overreach. Do not be seen as uh, trying to bag, bypass Baghdad and somehow deal to the disadvantage of Baghdad with other countries. Because, for example, uh, before the referendum, uh, you were building a uh, pipeline from Kirkuk directly to Turkey, and I think that uh, antagonized Baghdad that you were going too far. You, you have to be seen as sharing with Baghdad, but that means you hold on to some of those oil resources. Do not give up everything to Baghdad. Basha, Agar, Hamushu Taslimi Baghdad, Kate. و تابتی نوت رادستی بغداد کیت 
دبیت شاوروی چی لبخداب کن؟ تو شاوروان یک مالیه بی؟ چی رو آدات؟ I can expect. Again, I advise you not to hand it all over. That would be a slippery slope into uh, oblivion for the KRG. Uh, you're saying that oil is very important for you, and I agree. And you should hold on to constitutionally what you can argue is legitimately yours. And Article 112 of the Iraqi Constitution, Paragraph 2, you can argue gives you a right to hold on to the resources that come out of new oil fields uh, since 2005. And as you know, if, a, if KRG were an independent country right now, you'd be one of the 10 largest oil producing countries in the world. Uh, so you're in a good position if you're modest but firm in your negotiations with Baghdad.